Hey guys, so it's Miss Real Addiction. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be, if you haven't noticed, June favorites. I will be uploading two videos today. I promised myself that I would do June favorites, and it's kept it kept getting pushed back, and um, for school reasons. And I've been so busy. And when I try to yeah. upload later on today, um, if not as early as tomorrow, will be thrift finds because I found amazing goodies, a most chino belt, guys, for twenty eight dollars. So. Um, yeah, stay tuned for looking for that video. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get, jump into the June Favorites video. So, guys, what I want to start with, because I've been wanting to share with you guys, I didn't know if I should just do a review, but I just wanted to wait because um, I absolutely love this product, and it is the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleaning and uh, Makeup Remover. Now, um, this product, I'm not affiliated with. I love this stuff. Now, I don't know about it cleansing. It feels like it cleanses because it's very fresh once you wash off your face. But one thing is for sure, it definitely removes your makeup. I wear waterproof mascara, and when I use this, I'm talking about all my makeup is gone. Especially, like, foundation. Like, I don't wear foundation all the time, but when I do wear um, foundation, like, just to take photos and stuff like that, and my face is so hot here and humid, my face feels so um, cakey. When I use this... With warm water I'm talking this stuff and first of all the consistency of this product is thick and I absolutely love that it doesn't really have a smell I would say a fresh clean zesty smell um, it says that it has no harsh chemicals sulfates parabens um, dyes uh, now when I read the back of it it did say that 86% of it was naturally derived. Anything that was remaining in that product had chemicals in it, obviously, to mix all the products together. So if you do like 100% natural products, this product will not be for you. But, um, and a lot of you might be like, well, why don't you just use um, makeup wipes, makeup remover wipes? I have used those. Matter of fact, I had one in my e.l.f. haul. But they run out so fast. And, yeah, e.l.f. is only a dollar. But I just... Even after that, you still have to wash your face. I mean, you may not wash your face, but I have to wash my face. Because it always feels like sticky and all that stuff. So, um, I definitely recommend using this product to help remove your makeup. Or just to remove your makeup, period. Because I really don't need anything else after this. And my face feels so good afterwards. So, yeah. Definitely my number one product of the June favorites. The only bad thing, guys, is in the commercial, it looks really... It looks decent size. This is... This is kind of small. It was six somethings, like almost seven dollars. Um, so it might be kind of steep for you guys, but I definitely love this product, and I will keep getting back to this product once I run out of okay, stuff. Okay, so for my next products, now these I guess we I'll consider these one because I got them all at the same time. These were free from me because my friend that's in my chemistry class, she is an extreme couponer. When I'm talking about extreme, I'm talking about a garage full of stuff. Um, of laundry detergent, Gatorade, um, anything you can think of. So we went over, she knows chemistry, I love her to death. She teaches, she helps us kind of learn it. Well, we were taking a break, and I was like, she kept asking me that I want a drink. I'm talking about she had a drink full of Limpton Naturals, like every flavor of tea in a little bottle. I can't remember exactly what bottle, but it was good. She asked me what flavor. I said, no, I'm fine, you know, you sure they were free? And I was like free and then she told me that she's an extreme couponer she can coupons everything she had a plastic bag full of these Nivea um lip balms and she told me she she gave us a plastic bag me and my friend Brittany and just stacked up I'm talking about tampons sorry guys if you watch my channel but I'm talking about everything in this plastic bag and she just gave it to us because she's like and it's good though because she said for Christmas uh She'll just do goodie bags, and a lot of people are going to college. I was like, oh, my goodness. So now, needless to say, me and my mom are, you know, trying to get on it. My mom's been trying to do it, but she just, it's very hard because you got to learn how to do math in your head so you know which one cancels out. But anywho, that's a whole other subject. I'll try to do a video about that later. But so, yeah, I got all of these. I already had this one. Now, this one is the um, Hydrating Lip Care with SPF 4, and this is a Kiss of Smoothness. I had this one and I, I ran out like I was at the bomb of it like down here and I was like oh man I, you know I need to go get some more and it came right in time because I seriously needed more chapstick and I really like Nivea. Now this one is a, a kiss of flavor it has a strawberry flavor and it's strawberry tinted and this is so I wouldn't compare this to this um, because this one gives you more of a it feels like you're wearing lip gloss but more hydrating. 
So yeah, I love this. I love the smell. And for the pink one, it's a Kiss of Shimmer, Pearly Shimmer Lip Care. And it promises long lasting. Now, I don't know about long lasting, but I've only worn the product like one time. Because this one gives you a nude, see that? A nude baby pink. Um, I would put it on my lips, but I already have a nude lip color, so it wouldn't really do it justice. But um, I absolutely love this color as far as you're running out, you really you don't want to wear lip gloss or lipstick or anything like that, and you want a nude lip or a pink lip, this is amazing, guys. Amazing. So yeah, these are dream favorites. All right, so um, you guys know that if you've watched um, any of my previous videos, I love e.l.f. Cosmetics. You get a lot for your dollar, and they even have 50% off sometimes, and I'm like, how can you do 50% off of something already cheap? I don't know, but um, I will say that the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer, I absolutely love. Some people might say it's too um, liquidy or whatever, but for me, you only need a little bit anyways, and then you kind of blend it out, and it dries automatically. It goes on almost clear, maybe this color nude. And I'm talking, I have no creases whenever I use this. No creases at all. I can pack on as much makeup as I want on my eyelids. And it still does the job. Um, this was $3. I want to say it's $3. If not, it's 6 But I, I really think it's $3 for this product. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love so this So recently stuff. I did a Target haul. And you guys know that I bought this um, Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I've used this maybe twice. And I will say it does give me a lot of slip and I do feel that my hair is, it's not dry after I use this within like two days. I don't put it on every day, although you can use this for daily use. I only do it whenever I do my co-wash days and um, I haven't really had it that long. So, um, but I will say my hair is, it's, it gives me a lot of uh, shine and it does, um, what's the word for it? It gives me a lot of slip when I do detangle or do anything in my hair so I do like this and it smells heavenly I love this smell and I like the consistency most consistency most of all I used to use Cantu Shea Butter I know a lot of natural use that product but for me I felt like it was just I was just applying product in my hair I didn't feel like it was doing any anything so I, I really wanted to find another leave-in conditioner and I'm glad I found this one and you get it's just two dollars and I feel like you get a lot for just being two so everybody's um, saying especially now um, in the summertime, you need to exfoliate your face. Well, you can make your exfoliator, or you could just be lazy and go out and buy one like I did. Now, I've always been a fan of St. Ives, um, especially their peeling mask. So I've already used their um, scrub before, um, and this is the Naturally Clear Apricot Scrub Blemish and Blackhead Control Exfoliates to Prevent Blemishes, Clean, and Pores. So yeah, I got this one. obviously. You guys probably already have this. Everybody knows about St. Ives and their scrub. I love this. I don't recommend doing this every day because it's very harsh on your skin. So I do it maybe two times out of a week spread out. So maybe Monday and Thursday um, in the shower when my face really needs to be uh, exfoliated. I use this in my on my face with warm water and then close my pores with cold water. I always tell you guys that's what I do. That's what you're supposed to do. So um, it says on the back that for best results, you use three to four times per week, but it's just my skin is very sensitive and it's very harsh on my skin. So I only do it two times a week, unless I need really need to use more. And then uh, when I was first transitioning uh, in the beginning of one of my videos, um, I showed you guys all the products that I use. I think it was called Product Junkie. I don't know. But I have so many products. Luckily, I've cut down a little bit, but I have stuck with Jane Carter Solution. And this is the same container, and you guys will see. I have, like, nothing in here no more. Like, I have a little bit, and I'm trying to save onto those. But this definitely nourishes my hair. It does what it says it's going to do. And the good thing about this, you can use this for your hands and your skin, you know, if you're very dry. I don't use that for that, but um, it definitely moisturizes my hands after I finish it. It feels really um, moisturizing. So, yeah. I didn't get this from Target. You can get this from Target now, but um, I ordered this offline when I first heard about this product. This is when you could only order it online. Now Target carries this line. I'm not sure how much. I want to say this was twenty dollars, but I could this. I don't know how much. My mom got this for me because my hair was very dry during my transitioning stages, and I really needed something because I felt like my hair was just eating up everything. So 
um, I definitely recommend the Nourish and Shine by Jane Carter Solution. So, yeah. Now, of course, I had to include what? The Tangle Teaser. Why? Because this cuts my detailing time in half. Um, I used the um, uh, denim brush. The denim brush worked up to my 7th, 8th month of me transitioning to being natural. Afterwards, it ju I just felt like it was pulling my hair. It just took so long. Um, and I will do a comparison video on just using these two. So the Tangle Teaser versus the denim brush. But I absolutely love this one. I really think this beats the denim brush. Depending on your hair, I guess. My hair is um, tightly coiled here. Um, but when I use this... With the denim brush, I had to start at the end and then work my way up. I had to make sure I had a conditioner in my hair. I had to have a lot of slip, all that stuff. So with this, my hair just has to be wet. Yeah. So this one definitely outbeats the denim brush any day. Now my sister uses the denim brush. It works wonderful for her. But she's relaxed. So of course it's going to work for her. But um, yeah, that's just my preference, I guess. And then so... Uh, of course, whenever I buy products and they don't work, I always go back to this bad boy. It's Organics um, Olive Oil Olive Oil Moisturizing Growth Lotion. I actually have this in my hair right now. This never fails me, guys. I could have a bad hair day. My hair is very dry. This definitely hydrates my hair. And I like the consistency as well. It's also with shea butter. So, um, And I've had this in my product haul. I showed you guys this product when I was transitioning. And I still use it while I'm natural. And you get a lot for it. I've had this same bottle. And I still have a little bit. A, well, probably more than a little bit. Probably this much. Left in this bottle. And you, it's it promises it says 30% more than the 12 ounce. You can get this from Sally's or anywhere. Uh, my new favorite rings. And this was the Tree Branch with the Toy Crush ring. Um, Toy Crush ring. The Toy Crush stone. And, um... I swear the the next day that I wore this, I've got tons of compliments. It's definitely a statement. And um, I haven't worn my octopus ring yet, only because the store I work at, <clears throat> which brings me to my next point. Um, wait, I'll just do a whole other video on that one, but it's a lot of good news, guys. But um, we get to wear jewelry, the jewelry that's in the store. So let me fix my ring, my earrings. Oh, by the way, guys, I made these. Um, they're not done yet. Um, well, they, they're already done, but I'm just going to add, tweak them a little bit. But yeah, I made these. But um, yeah, anyways, back to point. This, the store that I work at, it's like no point in me even wearing accessories because we get to wear the jewelry in the store. So yeah. So I've been toned down a little bit, but um, this right here, I haven't worn right yet. Uh, but I will wear it because I will show you some of the thrift finds and I figured I could definitely wear this with that. So yeah. Okay. The last one is my Nine West bag, right here. Um, it was my birthday on the 17th of June. Um, my cousin works at Nine West, and she always hooks me up with the baddest purses, and I absolutely love her for that. Her birthday is coming in July, so I already got her a gift already. But um, it reminds me of Chanel, almost, with the quilted effect in the chain bag. And the inside, sorry, I got paper in here. The inside is a little striped nautical feel. And this would say, I think it's orange, like an orange, I would say it's orange color. Um, and then it's got like the little plate um, right here that says Nine West on it. And I love it. It's a good size bag. And you can either choose to wear it long or you can take both the chains and just wear it on the shoulder bag. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my June favorite. Stay tuned for my next video posted hopefully later on today, if not tomorrow. So um, yeah, love you guys. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.